Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Bionic Dudes with me, Ramboy20, where we last left off. We were fighting our way through a couple of missions to give us access to the Bahamut Epic Assault Upgrade, which is the final epic upgrade that we need. For those who missed it, you can just take a look at the statistics from last time. I don't feel like doing any fancy editing to show you what the changes were. Or I just remember that they were very good changes. Anyway. To war. And I need to stop turning to epic voices. Uh, this is gonna be fun. All right. Uh, let's create a sentry wall back here. No, let's move up like here. All right. I'm just gonna laser it from max distance. Seriously. You're gonna do this to me. You're gonna do this to me, game. Is that really? <laughs> There's a hacked door right here too. And it's a shield recharge station. Uh, this is gonna be a very Nope. Nope. Nope, I refuse. I will take the long route to killing you. I can kill you with this. No. <laughs> You miss. No, I'm just gonna walk up and light machine gun you. For nine damage. Yes, because you can actually kill me. That's adorable. What is up with all the doors? Seriously? Okay. Okay, good. It didn't forcibly open it. And there's an ammo chest. If there's not a boss fight at the end of this floor, I'm going to be so disappointed. Okay, are these like 90%? You know, no, no. Whistle. Come to me. There are stealth bots there. Ha 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 ha. No. Look, I'm not e even I'm not this stupid. Come on. What's the range on this guy? Five and this is six. Okay. One more. Yes, I'm just gonna sit here and kill him with this. Don't just <laughs> really. Are they stuck? Where are you hiding? Come on, I know there's more of you. I set up the sentry turrets for absolutely no reason. Too, and it's just really disappointing that there's not a single hide bot here. Hello there. Just gonna have the assault always be moving forward because the hide bot can't physically hurt this guy enough to kill him or do anything painful. Okay, no chain gun. Seriously? So many false walls. Well, there's going to be a lot more of them, I'm guessing, unless the game's just deciding to troll me this time, which it very well might. Nope. 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 Okay, what do we got? Eaglebots, Treadbots, Invigorated Bots. Is there anything even remotely dangerous? Um. No. Quite honestly, there's nothing here that's actually remotely terrifying. As is natural. Wait. I see what you're gonna do. It needs to say. Brain Boy doesn't approve. Ah, that's the problem. The high bots are just gonna waltz on over and start shooting them. Alright. Fine then. Glorious last stand it is. Uh, 
Um, okay. I'm just gonna go as far as it takes. Let's just... Hey, everyone! Free candy. What? Okay. Once again, zoom in. Zoom in. Assault. Zoom in. And just slowly back away. And I'm just going to turn down the music slightly because it feels like it's overpowering to me. I say slightly, it felt like it was overpowering, but really it ain't. And so now we're just going to sit here and let them run into the gun turret. Decloak all you want. Oh, we actually lost one. Um, do they have explosives? Well, I, I say like this is actually an issue, because all I'm going to do... Well, actually, first things first. You, you can stop that. Well, that did a fat load of nothing. Alright. Assault? Okay, how much stuff do we have left? Ammunition's actually pretty heavy, so we can probably move in this general direction. Swap over to science, and deploy another two sentry turrets. And we'll just slowly move in this general direction, and deploy more sentry turrets. So we now have a killing corridor. Also, treadbots eat ammo like nobody's business, even from shots that are doing over 500 damage per hit. Which is, once again, why I love sentry turrets, because they are so unreasonably overpowered. Are we quite done? Oh, if only I had a weapon that went through walls. Oh wait, that's what the epic assault's for. Anyway. I mean, I do have the Shadow Torpedo Launcher, but that's basically worthless. Are these out of ammo, too? Alright. Once again, that's pretty cute that you actually think you can kill me with this strategy. Did you just blow up a perfectly healthy? That will not fly. Damage redirected. What? What? Oh, that's what's going on. Alright. Uh, this is called Grenade. So while that was annoying, all in all I think we've dealt with the issue. Um, do we have any ammo in this stuff left? No. Great. So... Turret deployed. Can you not move? Flip around, deploy last sentry turret. That's irritating. I'm just gonna... I'm actually out of sentry gun ammo. Did we at least wipe out... Why can't you... Oh, that's why I'm onto that. Because they haven't designed an even more imbecilic ver version of robot. Okay, so we're out of ammo now. Not really. I am overpowered. Are you seriously this stuck? Okay, fine. How strong is your laser? Not enough to kill me. 
Maybe a grenade launcher would work wonders. How unfortunate that you should find yourself in such a situation is to be like this. So I'm going to pull out my epic siege and give you the here ignominious, um, inglorious death that you deserve. Right. Tell me when your gentlemen will start showing up with high bots. Maybe then I'll actually be somewhat worried. I have the laser beam. Er, how about no? How about no? How about grenade? How are you not dead? Okay, light machine gun. Because I'd rather not take half my health and damage. Science? <laughs> You're really gonna remain hidden. We see you. We can all see you. Oh, that means there are no other bots here. Yeah, smoke quirk with this game. If there are no other bots aside from hide bots, they will be automatically revealed to you. There's no fluff reason for this. It's just an anti-frustration feature, which I enjoy immensely. Now then. We've determined that there is a sufficient quantity of nothing in that area. I would hack those terminals, but the terminals have a small chance of detonating with an explosive force that you cannot physically stop. And those terminals are all in all unhelpful, especially on Iron Man. I don't know what other permanent benefits they might give you, if any at all. Well done, pilot. Well done. Another one in the bag. That was a relatively simple mission, and oh my gosh, let's see. All these levels and all this stuff manufactured. What's the forces? What are the forces looking like? Ah, eh, they aren't that scary yet. Right. So that was the epic assault. Now, if you're wondering why I wanted the epic assault so much, you see that he now has a plasma rifle and a volatizer. Plasma rifle should be self-explanatory, except it's just a smaller version of the plasma cannon with even greater with a greater ammo supply. However, kill every single... Ooh. Alright, so... Just checking, just to see. Is there anything that would be useful for the... Well, you're getting this one for certain. Just because Plasma Rifle having ludicrous damage is amazing. And I just feel like buffing the plasma rifle to all heck and back. Chris, splash size. Can't make your shields better, but there's probably something I could cycle out here. Then again, you're probably the one that gets all the... So, epic science, what do you have? Trap skill, regen, what does this do? Percentage base to computer stats as well. Response drops your regen, whereas this would drop your hacking points by one. Buff everything. The things will go with the buff everything that you can actually afford. 11 hacking points, 30 regen propulsion stats. So better than that, but there is a power requirement, which I can't afford right now. What do you do? Propulsion? Okay, so this is better in every way. No, it consumes twice as much, but because of all the power generation, it doesn't care. Let's see. Oh, you don't need mines. You don't touch those in the first place. We're respectable people, after all. And it boosts your trap skill, which makes you more ridiculous. So we'll see why not. 
And there's some new stuff that I genuinely don't care about. So, sell all this off. Eh, I guess the Epic Assault could actually gain something from the computer. Maybe a few hacking points and mines himself. And maybe some sensor range. Couldn't have hurt. Can't really hurt him. Uh, you can't really gain anything out of this unless... No. Well, this is percentage stuff that I'd rather not ditch, and this one's just a really, a really, really good shield. Um, maybe Ninja can get something out of this. Tech Paranormal Weapons, Tech Paranormal Weapons, Shield Stats, and a Trap Skill. Whereas this will just buff everything by percentage base, drops your Trap Skill, boosts Stealth Actions. It's not really worth it. Actually, do we have anything archived? No. Store. Lay it on me. What do you got? Matey. What do you have? <sighs> you produce so much power with that, though. Do you even need that much? Yeah, maybe, actually. Maybe. I have all this fancier loot on layaway that I can't afford. Mm. There's probably very little reason to hold on to this stuff still just because I'm not going to be able to afford it for a while. But anyway, I don't have anything else I really want to purchase as of now. None of the blue items actually seem worth it. However, however, it does seem worth it. Wait, where are the bosses? Faster, the lower the shield gets. has ludicrous attack. And repairs everything around him. We don't have the burst damage to kill either, just yet. But we will soon. Oh yes, we very much will. There's no central, one central intelligence behind the bots. So they've set up a number of these command centers. We can't break them down by attacking these, but we can find some great gear, and we can provoke them into attacking us five days sooner. That's five days fewer of them to repair, but that cuts both ways. If we're currently ahead of them, we might want to consider it. If we're behind in this little arms race, we might want to give this a wide berth. You understand what I think about that now. Don't you? <laughs> Volatizer. Its effect... Note the fact that it doesn't actually hit here. Oh, it its range isn't high enough yet. But when its range gets to a certain degree, it'll have an expanding radius that will, say, if I was aiming here, it would hit here. You can't actually see where I'm pointing, but say if I were in this corner, I tried shooting here. The range of the volatizer. They changed the volatizer. I think they did change the volatizer. It's actually, it doesn't hit you. I will need to figure out what the volatizer does because it's not being really weird. Okay. Anyway, we're assaulting a command center. What do we have here? Bomb bot. Master bot. Do we have any masterminds? Do we have anything I should even be remotely worried about? Not really. We can see very far. I only see bomb bots, so... Let's let the bomb bots do their job now, shall we? Yeah. 
I miss the gaff bot. Oh well, I can't. I can't really complain. One shot most of these things. And this guy has got hacking points, so let's just hack into this. Discover it's an ammo chest and laugh. Ooh. Even attack range of seven. That's going to be a nuisance. Ninja, this is your job. Is there something we can do here? No, science, what do you see? What do your science eyes see? Well, they very much like their explosives. But methinks it's a good idea. I'm actually going to go a little bit further ahead just to see if I can see. I'm not going to call them all over. No, there's no reason to get killing field just yet. But the epic siege has a job to do. Ooh. You don't have a lot of life. Mmm. Ninja? How far right away can you take those hit? Alright. See. Now I see this Blaster Master. I also have a rocket launcher. And... a song Up. Fire. What is the wait key? I really should learn what that key does. Is. So this is by far the most daring raid that we've done yet in the series. I'm just going to try to get as close as possible. Science, what do you see? Nothing important just yet. I mean, we do have a bomb. We do have a couple bomb bots and a few explosives to mess with. So I think now might be an amazing time to detonate. So, Siege, you've got a missile to launch. Actually, I don't mind doing this. We'll wait. You hit the bomb bot, you little... Alright. Don't have a problem with this. If he detonates the bomb bot before we get there, this will be hilarious. Okay, epic assault. You've got, you've got a fairly long range gun, and don't pull out the plasma cannon. That's just going to make me cry. Oh, that's adorable. Alright, come here. Come here. Come one, come all. The assault bot has the key. I could fire the volatizer over there. Oh, so that's what it does? Okay, so it literally means it just carpet bombs. Okay, they had to have changed that then. I remember the volatizer beforehand allowing you to just shoot around walls. So like, say if you had a range of two, it would hit here, here, and here because of its range. But no, no, now it just, now it just literally carpet bombs. I actually welcome that change. Beforehand I felt as if the old Volatizer did not have enough use. But now if you really want to clear out, if you really want to clear house, you most definitely can. And I wonder if I run over here and got them, because what is the point? That's a that's cute. Wait, do we leave behind? Okay, good we didn't. Alright. Let's pop on over. And we're just going to open these up. What else is here? False wall. I'm going to cost five hacking points now. Oh yeah, I forgot. One of the problems with doing these missions is that they make hacking points rise extremely quickly. 
Which is why I needed to get a really good science bot before I even tried this. So what else do we have here? What little, little monstrosities exist in this place? Well, I could hop over here, drop a sentry turret, pop its cover, I can just call them all over. I mean, there's no real problem with that now. And if he detonates the bomb bot, precisely as it should. Oh, you little son of a... You have it. Oh. One shot only. Doesn't do enough damage to actually consider killing him. You missed. And now we wait, because eventually... Wait, did the bomb bot go off? The bomb bot did not. And we now wait for the gaff bot. Or we go and murder the gaff bot, because I can't stand the guy. How strong are you? Strong enough to warrant a grenade launcher. That is, if you were in range. Okay, never mind. Eh, I really should stop bothering with small loot containers. They used to have thing. They used to have good things. Now that I'll just smoke in mirrors. Hello, hello. Who is here? For the show. Um, Siege. Siege's plasma cannon says hi. No. Just no. I don't know. Anything directly targeting them, I just don't trust it. However, I will grenade around the corner. Or I could forget the fact that I even had that guy there. Recoil bot. I'd have to go check that guy out, because I did not even notice that was a special bot. Alright. So, Blaster Master, let's not... Let's not try and kill ourselves on the... I'm actually gonna open this with a pistol, finally. Seriously. Alright. Grenade. Grenade out! Alright, invigorated dumbbot comer. Oh, I can't actually kill you with this man now. How strong are you? You hurt yourself enough where I don't care. Who else is here? It's like, are we even remotely close to fight killing them all off? No, I'm just going to waltz on over. So I can't be bothered, so I might as well just blow them up repeatedly. Alright, laser rifle. Ooh, I see the setup for what's going to happen. And I'm not going to drop a sentry to her, because we learned what happened last time. Okay, what's hidden here? There is the command fortress. There's a bomb bot. 
<sighs> These bots never cease to amuse me. Siege, can we have some fun? The mission is now over. Should we choose to continue it? Well, actually, wait a minute. Why don't we call them? Come on, everyone. Come on, come one, come all. They can't actually get past the explosive. And just to be friends. How about no? How about that's a horrible idea? Ooh, that's not out of range. Oh, I feel this is going to hurt in a second. No, I could theoretically avoid it. And my own grenade can't actually kill me. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. Actually, wait, what am I doing? That worked. And there is now nothing guarding that. Let's just clear this place out. Invigorated dumb bots. Come one, come all. We're not here to kill you. This can't kill you, can it? No. It can two-shot you, which is the whole point of existing. Did I actually clear out everyone? Oh, I almost forgot back here. We might as well. We might as well loot the heck out of this place. We should recharge station. I don't care. Give me some loot. And is there anything I've forgotten? Nope. Let us go. For we now have completed one command center. Well done, pilot. Well done. Another one in the bag. Loads of bots have gained levels. But what's more important is that we've taken out one command center. As you can see, days until the final battle have been reduced. This is how we're going to finish off the series easily. However, before the end of this, we're going to want to do some assassinations and lion's dens. In preparation for this, we've gained our first legendary parts. I hate you so much. 26 mines, max shields, and reduces power. If you haven't guessed, we're going to sell that, because we're not going to bother with this. Dense magnetic containment chamber of inquiry. Loads of area effect, shields, and sensors. Why do I need this? I don't want to... I don't want to make the... Oh. I could shove this under the plasma rifle. I could shove it under the volatizer and make it splash size ridiculous. But considering what the volatizer does already, I don't see any need for it. The plasma rifle with the same statistics would be amusing. Okay. And attack range, area of effect, and attack power. To the nth degree. However, the Epic Siege does need an upgrade. And its plasma cannon very much can do with a work over. Uh, no, it won't, because that actually kind of ruins it. What should I give you here? Mm, no thanks. I think... I think our plasma rifle would do better with the upgrade. And you can go on there anyway, just to look pretty. And... Propulsion and Computer. To, once again, the ridiculous degree. What do you do? Attack hard on weapons? I can't actually do that. Science, do you have something that does this? Uh, I can't ditch you, because that reduces... Okay. 
shields and consumes 10% more power. What are its benefits? I lose shields, and in response I gain everything else, or a little bit of everything. That's so worth it. Assault! Assault boy! Oh wait, that only fits in the... Well, actually, that kind of just does everything. I mean... Uh, what is Siege look like? <laughs> what is Siege look like? Boost your power, boost the attack damage of everything once again to a more ridiculous degree. I think I'm gonna say yes. And your sheet reactor could actually fit something else in here now. But that's kind of useless for you. Since a range in mines, since a range in hacking points. I'm gonna use the computer for shields on these gentlemen. So I think I'm just gonna sell everything off. All it does is some slight buffs to everything for the Epic Siege. The Epic Ninja can't really use this. Science is there to get something better, and I would like a better general overcharge, but that's about it. So let's just go sell all this off. And uh, here's the time of the episode where I'm just going to do store and shuffling around. So if you haven't already figured it, if you, yeah, if you haven't already figured it out, this is just the store portion of the episode. The episode's over after every two missions. So yeah, if you want to leave now? Go right ahead. I'm going to just show you an overview. Not exactly what I changed, but if you remember the stats from this episode, you could just look at it. Otherwise, catch you all next time. Anyway, back to the store. We now have ludicrous credits, because we have sold a legendary. And we're going to be purchasing that overcharger. What do I want to put you on? I no longer remember. Why do I want to buy you? You're actually better than this. You are most definitely so. So you're going to purchase this. Because any reduction in power is worth having that much statistical boost. With 5,000 left over, what do we want to purchase? How much is that? That is over 6,000. I can't afford those two. What are the blues? That might actually be good for his plasma cannon. I'm going to purchase you, because I've held on to you for long enough. And I will find a place for you, just because ludicrous shields. Oh, that actually reduces damage reduction? That is so disappointing. Well, that reduces regen, increases damage reduction, but reduces attack power, and I can't accept that. Um, is there anything else that would want this? Not really. However, you can fit just about anywhere. If I put you wait. It just gives you sensor range. Why would I even consider it? Shields get buffed overall. I wanted to put you on a weapon. That's right. No, the shadow torpedo because they don't need that much range, and getting double damage is, <laughs> I think, incredibly useful. And then this booster can go into the Volatizer, increasing its attack range to be even greater. And we can't purchase anything else, so... Well, we could actually purchase these... Okay, we make the plasma cannon even better. I'm not going to reduce its attack range just for more depth. Really? Sure. Sure, no. That can't be right. No, if it's a blue, I'm going to replace it. 
did, did I just sell it? No. Unarchive it. Place. Is there any reason to have these two on? Not reducing the attack range and increasing the splash size. This thing's already very unwieldy. Epic Assault. What's your plasma rifle? Um, let's not reduce the attack range any further, because that would just make the plasma rifle unusable, and that doesn't actually buff its damage. It adds more ammo, though. The volatizer does... No, the volatizer counts. It most definitely does count. Okay. We shall buff the volatizer. So yeah, this is the current setup for the next couple of missions. So we're probably going to do... We might start messing around with the bot's numbers by doing some Lion's Den and assassination missions. Or we might do some more robot command centers. Who knows? But until then, this has been Brain Boy 20 with Let's Play Bionic Doos, and I am signing off.